Asteroid. Rocks floating around in space. Some are the size of a Cybertruck. Others are hundreds of miles across. Meteor. The streak of light caused when a meteoroid enters a planet's atmosphere and starts to burn from the heat of friction. Meteorite. A meteoroid that lands on the surface of a planet. Meteoroid. A little chunk of rock in space smaller than a Cybertruck. If it were bigger, it would be an asteroid. Atmosphere. The gas is held by gravity around Earth and around other planets. Atmosphere can also be used to talk about gases around stars. Atom, the basic building block of matter. It is made of protons, neutrons, and electrons. There are many different kinds of atoms. For example, the simplest atom with one proton and one electron is a hydrogen atom. An atom with six protons, six neutrons, and six electrons is a carbon atom. Astronaut, a person trained to travel in a spacecraft. Astronomer, a scientist who studies the universe. Aurora Australis, bright glows and bands of light that appear in the skies at night near the South Pole. They are also called the Southern Lights. Aurora Borealis, bright glows and bands of light that appear in the skies at night near the North Pole. They are also called the Northern Lights. Big Bang, the main theory explaining how the universe started. It states that 13.8 billion years ago, space expanded quickly to form the atoms that would produce stars and galaxies. Black Hole, a place in space where matter and light cannot escape if they fall in. Comet, an icy rock that lets off gas and dust, which may form tails when it is flying close to a sun. Constellation, a group of stars in the sky. They're often named after an animal, object, or person. The stars form certain patterns based on where you are. We have one view of stars here on Earth, but from another solar system or galaxy, the constellations would look different. Corona, the outer atmosphere of a star. Cosmos, the universe seen as an orderly, harmonious whole. Crater, a large bowl-shaped dent in the ground. They can be caused by an explosion or the impact of a meteorite. Dwarf planet, objects that are round and orbit the sun, just like planets do. But unlike planets, dwarf planets are not able to clear their path around the sun. That means there are other objects orbiting at roughly the same distance from the sun. A dwarf planet is much smaller than a planet, smaller even than Earth's moon. But it is not a moon. Pluto is the best known of the dwarf planets. Eclipse. An eclipse refers to one celestial body in space moving into the shadow of another celestial body, creating a temporary blocking or obscuring of light. There are two main types of eclipses. One, solar eclipse. A solar eclipse happens when the moon passes between the Earth and the sun, blocking some or all of the sun's light. Two, lunar eclipse. A lunar eclipse occurs when the Earth comes between the sun and the moon, causing the Earth's shadow to fall on the moon. Electromagnetic spectrum, the name for all the different kinds of light and energy in the universe. This includes radio waves, microwaves, infrared radiation, visible light, ultraviolet light X-rays, and gamma rays. Equator, the circle around a planet or moon that is the same distance from its North Pole and its South Pole. Exoplanet, a planet that freely floats between stars or one that orbits a star outside our solar system. Galaxy, a collection of thousands to billions of stars held together by gravity. The galaxy in which our Earth and the solar system are located is called the Milky Way. Gamma rays, part of the electromagnetic spectrum, also called gamma radiation. These waves have lots of energy. They come from big events like solar flares and exploding stars. Gas, a loose collection of atoms moving around each other. Gravity, a force that pulls matter together. Greenhouse gas, gases in the atmosphere that trap heat from the sun. Some greenhouse gases are carbon dioxide, methane, water vapor, and nitrous oxide. Kuiper Belt, a donut-shaped ring of icy objects beyond the orbit of Neptune. Pluto is the best known of these icy worlds. Light year, it's not a year or an amount of time at all. It's the distance light travels in one year. It's the same as 5.8 trillion miles. When things are very far away, it's easier to talk about their distance in light years than millions or billions or trillions of miles. Magnetic field, the space around a magnet where the magnetic force is active. Earth has a magnetic field and its extension into space helps protect us from space weather. Mass, the amount of matter something is made of. Matter, 
the stuff that everything is made of. Atoms are a tiny bit of matter. Big planets have lots of matter. Even you are made of matter. Microwaves, part of the electromagnetic spectrum. These waves of energy are made by stars, the clouds of gas between stars, and supernova. There is also something called cosmic microwave background radiation. It's all over the universe, and scientists study it to learn how the universe began. Moon, a natural object that travels around a bigger natural object. Planets can have moons. Dwarf planets can have moons. Even some asteroids have moons. Astronomers usually call them satellites or natural satellites. Nebula, a cloud of dust or gas found between stars. Neutron star, a very dense star made mostly of neutrons. It has very powerful gravitational force nearby because the whole mass of a star is pulled into one object just a few miles across. Oort cloud, a spherical shell around our solar system. It may contain more than a trillion icy bodies. Long period comets, which take more than 200 years to orbit the sun, come from the Oort cloud. Orbit, the curved path that a planet, satellite, or spacecraft moves as it circles around another object. Ozone layer, a part of Earth's atmosphere that absorbs lots of the sun's ultraviolet radiation. It is made of a gas called ozone, which is a molecule of three oxygen atoms. Planet, a large body in outer space that circles around the sun or another star. Pulsar, an object thought to be a rapidly rotating neutron star. It releases short pulses of radio waves and other electromagnetic radiation. Quasar, compact area in the center of a massive galaxy that is around a supermassive black hole. They are some of the brightest objects in the universe and can be observed across the entire electromagnetic spectrum. Radio waves, part of the electromagnetic spectrum. Radio waves are around us here on Earth and they're out in space too. These waves are low energy. We use them every time we listen to the radio. They're used to talk to satellites too. They are also common in outer space since they are sent out by forming stars, pulsars, supernovae, the sun, and even colliding galaxies. Satellite, an object that orbits another object. A moon is actually a satellite. We also say satellite to refer to spacecraft. People build that orbit Earth other planets, moons, asteroids, or other objects out in space. Solar flare, a burst of energy and particles from the sun. It releases gases, radiation waves, and magnetic storms. Solar panel, a piece of material that can capture sunlight and turn it into electricity. Solar system, a set that includes a star and all of the matter that orbits it, including planets, moons, asteroids, comets, and other objects. Solar wind, the constant stream of particles and energy emitted by the sun. Space weather, the conditions in space that can affect Earth, satellites, and space travel. Space weather is mostly the result of solar wind and solar storms. Spacecraft, a vehicle used for traveling in space. Speed of light. Light is the fastest thing in the universe. It travels 186, 282 miles every second. Star. A ball of shining gas made mostly of hydrogen and helium held together by its own gravity. Turning hydrogen into helium creates the energy that makes stars shine. Sun, the star in the center of our solar system. Supermassive, how we describe objects that have a million times or more mass than our sun. Supernova, the explosion of a star that makes it as bright as a whole galaxy. Ultraviolet, part of the electromagnetic spectrum. It's called ultraviolet because the waves are shorter than violet light. We can't see ultraviolet light with our eyes, but some birds and insects can. Our sun emits ultraviolet radiation, and it can give you a sunburn if you're outside without sunblock for too long. Universe, all of space and time and everything in it. It's everything ever. Vacuum, an empty space that doesn't have any matter. Visible light, the part of the electromagnetic spectrum that we can see with our eyes. It's all the colors of the rainbow. Wave, a way energy moves from one place to another. Sometimes waves move materials the way water ripples in a pond move the water. Other times, waves don't move anything around when they transfer energy. For example, X-rays and other waves on the electromagnetic spectrum don't make any ripples when they move energy from place to place. We classify waves based on how long their wavelengths are. A wavelength is the distance from peak to peak or valley-to-valley valley of the wave.